So I said that I thought that what was going to happen in with respect to technology and higher education was that there was a tsunami coming. I think a tsunami has uh, several properties. One is when it's the open ocean far from the shore, it's actually not a very big wave, not a very high wave. I think there is still a lot of change coming. It doesn't necessarily upset uh, the models that higher education works under, but I think the notion of a whiteboard or blackboard based teaching model is probably not the right way to do things. Um, and for large lectures in particular, where I think many um, instructors are concerned that they don't do a good job of conveying the information in an effective way of engaging the students, I think we can do electronic versions which will be better. I think we've also discovered that we have a long ways to go. Our knowledge about learning, what works well, what doesn't work well, is still in its infancy. And until we master that, building systems which are adaptive to individual student needs and can be effective will take a lot longer than I think we earlier projected. So we, we, when we began our efforts in online education at the university, we believed we needed an office to support faculty and to engage them and to help them think about how to put technology. Because certainly there's an energy barrier for a faculty member who wants to introduce some new teaching methods. And faculty members are always short on time. So we felt we needed to help support them, as well as learn from the faculty what their needs were so that we could begin to think about how to develop or supply the technology they needed. That position began as the Vice Provost for Online Learning. It's now the Vice Provost for Teaching and Learning because we see online as part of a bigger movement around pedagogy and how we teach students. And I think what we want to do is really support and encourage a faculty vision of how can technology be used in ways that are really effective, as well as build an environment where we can do experiments understand what works, and then bring that back to a broader audience, not only at Stanford, but uh, with, for our colleagues around the country. This need to experiment, I think, is, is critical, and experiment in a way that's controlled and systematic, so you really understand what's working to improve student learning. That's where the focus really needs to be.